Hi there, it's Suzanne from sunsteppin.com. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I have this little um, box that it was actually inspired by the mini glue dot box. So it's pretty much the same size, slightly smaller. I have an open concept uh, office, uh, sorry, uh, apartment, so it's important for me to um, squirrel away a lot of my craft supplies. So I came up with this little idea. And um, you could possibly, I mean, obviously you could use it as a gift box, but I have been using it as a, uh, to hide my mini glue dots in. So let's get started, shall we? You're going to need your simply scoring tool and a piece of cardstock that measures eight and three quarters by six and a half. With the long side at the top, I'm going to score at uh, one and one eighth at four at five and one eighth and again at eight. Flipping it around, I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch, one and three quarters, four and three quarters, and five and seven eighths. And that's all we need to do with that. So, with my bone folder, going to burnish all the edges or all the score lines and I'm using pistachio pudding today in this box I used the summer star fruit and I also used um, the DSP from our uh, called sweet sorbet that we got from the celebration um, deals it's where you bought um, a certain amount of product and you got a free thing. Gotta love the free things. Well I do anyway. I have to craft on a budget so. Wonderful. Okay so with this uh, smaller side on the top you can kind of see that this one's slightly bigger. This one's slightly smaller and this is actually where we're going to be adhering our sticky strips. So keep that in mind. I am going to trim this off and cut down to make a little tab all the way down here all the way down this guy and I'm going to cut all of this off and a little bit here now I've always know, uh, noticed if I actually take just a little bit of a wedge out on the tabs, it helps the box. It just makes it a little bit more square. It's much easier to put together. All right. So flipping it around, we're going to cut these boxes off because we don't need them. Cut all the way down and make a tab and then we're going to remove sorry hang on wait do, do, do. <laughs> And we're going to remove this whole side here. I got confused a little bit there for a minute. Just sometimes when I get talking. All right. And we're going to just wedge in a little bit. Here and here. And here and here. Okay, and actually, you don't have to, but where the sticky strip is going to go, I'm going to just wedge that out as well. All right, 
So that being, I'm going to grab my little corner rounder and I'm going to round the box flaps. And you don't have to do this. You can cut them out or you can leave them square. Makes it just easier to open and close the box. All right, so it is um, DSP time. So I have already pre um, uh, stuck my paper as I usually do, just for time. And the DSP, oops, the DSP sizing on these front bits are um, two and three quarters by two and three quarters and the sides oop, actually it's not the side oh yes it is I'm just doing I'm so confused today oh boy <laughs> two and three quarters by seven eighths so you're gonna want to do the two middle bits and then you're going to want to do the lids as well oh my gosh i'm confusing my own self perfect okay so the sticky strip is going to go on here and I probably would put two on, but just for time consumption, we're only going to do one. Always burnish it. I'm going to use my little paper piercer jewelry tool. And with any square box, you should be able to shut them closed just like that. Fold in the edges. And voila, the box is made. And I see you're probably wondering how to do one of those. How um, the little lotus flower. So what I'm going to do is um, start building. The base. So that was my um, scalloped oval punch. I have a regular um, oval and they're going to go on top of one another. Two on there and two on there. This is so saffron, as you can see, it kind of matches. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is make our little flowers. So I'm using my um, Petite Petals Punch. I have my pistachio marker and a Stampin' Sponge. Uh, you could also dip this in your ink as well, but it works with a marker. I'm just going to sponge the edges. I find that it makes the cutouts sort of pop a little bit. And normally you can use your back of your paper piercer or sometimes I use the tip of a pen to sort of press down anything that's sort of round. Today though, um, I'm going to use the retracted pen opening and the reason why is because it leaves, I don't know if you can see that, a little circle. And I'm needing that little circle so that I can come in and trim, cut all the way down to make the little lotus flower. Well, I think it's a lotus flower. It's a mock lotus flower, I guess. Not exactly sure how many petals a lotus flower has. So I'm just going to use my, um, this is 
I think I've explained before in a video, it's my, a jewelry tool that I have used um, from paper piercing. Um, and the reason why I don't use it with jewelry anymore because it actually has a bent end. So whatever works, you could use a chopstick if you wanted to. All right, so I did cut out a little dimensional and I'm going to put that on the very back of the bottom one. And then with my handy dandy glue dot, I'm going to take it, one of the glue dots, and just have it flat for the bottom. Then I'm offsetting, trying to offset, sometimes it doesn't always work, the next flower. Then with another glue dot, and this time I'm going to fold it in half and then fold it in half to create like a little ball. And put that in there. And then, again with the offsetting, or trying to offset. So cute. And one little pearl. I used a diamond in the other one. You can kind of squish it down and fluff up. I'm not going to do any stamping with this, as I said before. I'm using it personally for uh, office supplies. So, but you can, if you wish. Zoink. All right, so there you have it. Two different looks, one similar box, very similar to the glue dot box. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully um, you've enjoyed these product projects and we'll come back soon. Bye.